Oh yeah, there it goes. Recording. Hi everybody, welcome to Saturday's call. I am so happy to see you. This is my favorite way to start the weekend. Um, we have an amazing lineup of speakers. If you don't know me and you're brand new to this call or you're watching the replay, I am Lisa Blackstock. I am a diamond from Seminar in BC. Been doing Young Living for seven years now. It's the best ever. Um, but we have a lineup of speakers and our first speaker is a friend of mine. She has been around since the very beginning. One of the first people that I enrolled and I'm so grateful that she's here speaking on the call today. Um, it's funny because she got her starter kit and she saw a post that I put up on the on the bank like little website that we had and she came to the to the class that I was having grabbed her starter kit and left she didn't even learn about any of the things and but she's still here seven years later so that speaks volumes to what these products can do and how they will change your life people stick around um so not waiting any longer here this is Janine O'Brien and she is going to do a little interview with one of her builders so so excited Hi. And I can't even see if Sarah's on here yet. Is she even on yet, you guys? <laughs> and I'm not on my computer, so I can't see if she's on. I'm I hoping that she's on. You know what? I don't even see her yet. <laughs> she's supposed to be getting on. She might be having some issues. I okay. literally just talked to her, but she might not be on, so we might have to hold off for a minute. <laughs> okay. So pause that introduction. Oh, she's she there? there? Is she there? Okay. Okay, good, because I can't see her on my phone. <laughs> Okay, let's start again. <laughs> My okay. name is Janine O'Brien and I have, like Lisa said, I literally um, walked into one of her classes and picked up my kit, didn't even stay to learn about them and I walked out and here I am. <laughs> and um, and I love, I love everything about Young Living. I love it all. Um, but one of the biggest things that I love so much is uh, the friendships that you make along the way. And um, when Lisa asked me if I could um, interview somebody, I knew exactly who it was going to be. It was going to be my good friend, Sarah, because um, really amazing thing to be able to be able to be doing, right? So it's just that it's fun and it's exciting and we're having so much fun together. And she's literally been back up a little bit. We met during hockey. So I'm a hockey mom. Um, and we met during hockey and we started talking oils and she was actually doing the other oils. <laughs> we won't mention them. She was doing the other oils. And, um, but we talked oils all the time. It's something that we always did. And um, we just, became, we built this friendship off of our kids and off of hockey. And then off of, um, off of oils, I guess as well. So with uh, Sarah, um, are you there, Sarah? Is she unmuted? I don't even know where she is. I can't see her. Oh, there you are. Hi, I see you. <laughs> okay, so the, Sarah, Sarah um, is actually originally from Ontario. Um, so she's, I call her a newbie, but you've been here for a while now, haven't you? Yeah, like seven years. Seven years, yeah. So, um, so yeah, so she's been here for about seven years now, and um, like I said, like she's pretty much been my ride or die this last year. She's been everything to me this last year, and um, we've slowly started building a business together, which has been an amazing experience for me. So a few questions I have for you, Sarah, are, um, tell me how you got started with Young Living, because <laughs> you're that other oil company. <laughs> well, um... I basically got started with Young Living from Ninja Red because um, you would put it in like our mimosas because we'd sit and drink mimosas. So you'd put in Ninja Red every now and then. And then you gifted me a bottle um, when you're at Christmas. And then it kind of just went from there. And then my daughter and hate your daughter got talking and she wanted that owl diffuser. And so we ended up getting her that kit. And I think that's actually my first order that I placed. Yes, was it was yeah, it was the oil. Yeah, it was the owls, yeah. owls one, which is an awesome diffuser. If you guys don't have it, by the way. Um, and so, yeah, so we're in Ninja Red. <laughs> it was uh, so we used to we do um, mimosas every Sunday. <laughs> Something that we do. And if you guys don't know, um, Ninja Red's really good in mimosas. So <laughs> that was one of the things that we started with. And um, what was a big aha moment that you had um, starting with the products? Um, well, the Ninja Red, because <laughs> I obviously wasn't as hungover the next morning. <laughs> um, 
and then from there it kind of I went the next one was bloom I think I started using the skin line or the skincare yeah. line bloom and that was just um that was a big aha moment for me because it just it was amazing what it did for my skin you absolutely raved about it the first time. I remember the first time you used it and it came over the next day and you were raving about it. Yeah. What did you say? It's like, my skin has never felt so soft. It did. I don't even think I put makeup on that day. I think I just like, I think that was like the first day in forever that I didn't wear makeup because my skin You're just like, felt amazing. You're like, look at my face. It's glowing. <laughs> it was awesome. Um, and then from that moment on, so from there you were using the products a little bit you'd you'd ordered your owls kits you're using the oils and then I remember you um I think it was at Christmas time last year when it came out with the the one starter kit with the you as you can tell, tell she likes um the the leopard print or whatever it came out with yeah. that um carrying case <laughs> so you you got the desert mist uh, diffuser which you're which that's your favorite diffuser now isn't it it is I actually have two of them now <laughs> yeah and how many more do you want <laughs> uh, a couple more <laughs> yeah so the carrying case was what won her over with that kit and only because we're hockey moms and she won obviously we have to be doing any traveling this year but when we get back to traveling um you'll be able to take your diffusers into those stinky hotel rooms with us um what um what made you decide to start sharing start sharing about young living because you were with that other oil company but then you started using our products here with young living and then you decided to to start sharing what made you decide to start sharing that um well it was bloom so i started sharing that with my sister because i was like oh my god you have to try this like your skin it makes it feel so like it's just going to change it, it completely yeah and um so that's kind of where it started and i really wasn't interested in the business or any of that and then it just kind of <laughs> like took off from there and i started sharing with her and a few others and then she started sharing and and it just and and Kelsey really just got really excited right from the get-go for the business side of it, which I think got you excited, correct? Yeah, it did. Because <laughs> she was like doing awesome. I was like, oh my God, this is so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. And the story behind her sister is back in Ontario. Her sister worked in long-term care. And obviously we know with long-term care this last year has been an absolute, like praise those people that can work there and stuff like that. But they've gone through basically they've gone through hell they've gone through a lot of work and it was she was very unhappy in her job and so she's actually just recently quit her job correct she um, yeah and um and so she really she's really gung-ho on building this business now with us so it's um that's pretty exciting too to have your little sister join us in the in the business side of things yeah totally yeah it's fun <laughs> being able to work along with her and build up a business and it's awesome because we're not really competing like we're working together it's just it's so much fun yeah, it's yeah, yeah, and it's uh, and it's and it's fun to be able to help those people that you know need the help with that too. Um, what what's one thing? Well, not one thing, but what are you most excited about now that you've started building a business? What are you so excited about with this business side of things? Oh, I don't know. I I guess there's a lot that I'm excited about. Um, the one thing that I'm just I'm loving right now is just sharing with people, just sharing. I think I kind of had diary of the mouth there for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we had to reel you in a little bit. We had to yeah. reel you in just a little bit there. You were a little bit too excited. <laughs> yeah. um, I know you were saying the other night that like silver, getting to silver would absolutely change your life financially. Um, just that's on the financial side of things. But I also know even last night, you tend to hang out quite a bit. Um, last night you were saying that it's not even the money right now for you. It's just even just seeing your business grow, being able to see those um, builders in your organization and getting excited and um, and seeing your overall group volume grow every month is something that you were, I think you're even more excited about than the dollars right now. <laughs> Definitely. It's just, it's crazy seeing it. Cause I remember thinking, oh my God, a thousand like OBG. I'm yeah. like, I'll never get to that. Like that seems like ridiculous. And then yeah. I think it only like was two months and I was there. Yeah. And now I'm like, then 2000 I was like oh my god that seems like impossible and now I'm almost there so I, we're setting goals to get you there and it's just like you're almost there and you thought it was going to take you way longer than it's going to be and I don't think it will um <laughs> and um I think one of the funnest things that I'm having with it is that we we get to sit there and have coffee like friends do and stuff like that but we get to sit there and plan and set goals and and um 
and just do it together. And I think that's the funnest part that we're having right now. Um, and our girls, like um, Sarah was saying, our girls are, are good friends and um, watching them, they're so excited for us. <laughs> And um, we're doing vision boards together with them, which is the exciting thing. So it's including our, our kids in it. And it's really cute because they walk around and they say one day that they're going to, one of their goals is to have a young bus- young living business, just like their moms. And I think that's the, the most awesome thing ever right there, yeah. which is the coolest thing. And um, yeah, I think the best thing ever is just um, going out there and having fun and working towards your goals and yeah, and just, and just living life. So thank you so much, Sarah. <laughs> I know you're nervous coming on here today, so I appreciate you coming on. I appreciate you so much. You're, like I said, you're like the bestest thing that's come into my life in a long time, and I appreciate you so much, and I'm so excited for um, for the future with us and just our friendship and growing a business together, and I'm excited for um, all these goals that we have together, and, um, and yeah, it's going to be so much fun, you guys, so yeah, thank you for having us, Lisa. Thanks. That was so awesome, Janine and Sarah. Thank you for sharing. Uh, I'm going to just dive right in. Uh, my name is Laurence. I'm a silver brand partner with Young Living. I've been doing this for a year and a half. Um, and I'm so excited to have my friend, my new friend, Alicia, on here with me. She's also one of my business builders in my team. And she's come into my life like a ray of light. And it's pretty cool how we met, actually. We met on Instagram. <laughs> So I started following her through common friends and fast forward, probably less than a month. I get a message from this girl saying, I'm on your link. What's your member number? And how does this, the central rewards thing work? (laughs) And I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, wow, this is, first of all, this is really cool. Second of all, I really like this girl (laughs) because she's straightforward. She's to the point. I love that anyways. um, And we connected instantly. Like I, Honestly, I love doing this business with Alicia because she is so, she, she's had her starter bundle for two months. She's almost at senior star, but it's so much more than that. It's actually that she's so independent and coachable and she's a go-getter and she's doing the things and she's going to share with you her story, but like, it's pretty cool how she gets to, to fit this into her days. And it's actually really inspiring for me to see her do that. So I'm really happy that she's here with me today to share with you guys. Um, hi, Alicia. <laughs> Okay, so first thing I wanted to ask you is like outside of Young Living, what were you doing before? Or like, what are you still doing outside of Young Living? And, and what did you decide? Like, what made you decide to do this? So I was, um, I just am almost done wrapping up my elementary education degree. So I'll be a teacher. Um, I'm in my practicum right now in the last few weeks of it. So that was a five year journey. Um, and it was coming to an end here. So I kind of decided I was ready for a new challenge. I wanted to put that energy that I was putting into my degree into the next big challenge. And for me, I wanted it to be focused on health and wellness and something that fed my soul and was good for my family. So I decided to jump into this world and I'm loving it, obviously. Yeah. I remember when you wrote to me and I was like, oh, what made you want to like get started with oils? And you were like, well, I already love oils and I might as well get, you said something like, I guess I could buy it from a company that I can earn from. And I thought she meant essential rewards. So guys, I assumed that she didn't want the business for the first week, probably. And then I was thinking to myself, earn on this. Did I get that wrong? So then I wrote to her and I'm like, hey, I don't want to be presumptuous, but like, are you wanting to do this as a business as like, as like a side business? She said, Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. So like, I already started reading the stuff. I'm like, Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Sounds good. I'll add you to our business group. So you never know who shows up in your life and who's watching guys. That's what I have to say about that for sure. Um, and most people wouldn't start young living, just finishing up a degree and like having to work and do practicum. And like, don't forget you have a child at home and your, your husband works like a lot. So what made you want to do this? Like, or what do you love about this business model that you were like, I can't pass up on this. I'm going to make time for it. Yeah. So I got into education because like I've, I've done the nine to five Monday to Friday gig where you get like two weeks of holidays. That's not for me. So I got into education because I loved the freedom behind it. You work a lot, but you get summers, holidays, that time with your kids off. And to me, that was like, that was like gold. It was, that looked amazing to me. But then when I look at the young living business, that leans even more into the idea of freedom. So 
whatever I put into this business, I'm going to get back. So if I want six months off with my kid, I can take six months off with my kid because I can work my business whenever, 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 and anywhere. So it was the freedom for me. It's the, that next level of freedom in life. Time is everything, right? So I love it. Yesterday, I, she was like, imagine where we're going to be in three years. And I was like, diamond, baby diamond. And she was like, whoa, I'm like, yeah, you don't see it for yourself yet, but it's happening. So that's super cool. Um, I want to ask you as, as well, like what made Young Living and our team stand out to you? Because I know, like, I don't know, in, for, in Fort McMurray, there's a lot of different MLMs and network marketing. And in general, like there's a lot of people doing all the things. So what made our team and Young Living stand out for you? So I, like I mentioned, I was ready to like shift my energy, all the energy going to my degree, ready to shift that energy into a new phase of learning. So um, I took on the new challenge, but I was really craving connection and community. I had been working on a degree for five years, but this last year solely online. So I just wanted to connect with people. And like when I first saw Laurence's page and her videos and we chatted, it felt like just a normal connection. I didn't feel like she was trying, or you, because we're chatting, I didn't feel like you were trying to sell me a box. I felt like you just wanted to connect with me. And so that spoke volumes to me for sure. That makes me so happy. Um, and it's so cool how we find friends through this too, right? Like last night we were hanging out. And I'm like, this is amazing. I wouldn't have you in my life if it wasn't for this. So amazing. How do you balance all of this and like not get overwhelmed with the amount of things that you have going on in your life? Um, yeah, so you probably lots of you have heard like that, heard this kind of saying is like, I work this business in the cracks of my day. So, um, those cracks can be before I pick my daughter up or after I drop her off or on my lunch break. And it's like, when I get to those moments, it's not like I get to those moments and I'm like, okay, so like, what am I going to do with this time? I already have a plan. I've set a plan for the week. I know what income producing activities I have to do during that time. And I just keep it simple. I'm sharing, I'm showing my face on camera, connecting with people and just like talking about and using the product. And it just, it doesn't seem overwhelming because it's, it is simple. You're just sharing something that you love. So, and planning, planning is key. I love it. I think you're so consistent too, right? Because you're doing it, even if it's small amounts of time, like I see you being so consistent and that's what is bringing this success for you. Right. So, okay. So you guys see how amazing she is and why I brought her on, right? <laughs> so what advice would you give to somebody who's starting? Like what, what is something that you would like to share with us? So I think we always talk about how this business is duplicable. Um, but what's really important is that you're not trying to be somebody else. So you are my coach and I look to you and I'm listening and I'm taking in the advice of how I can be successful, but I need to take that information and see how it works for me. Because if I'm just trying to be you, that's not going to come off as genuine and I'm not going to enjoy it. So I will take all of the advice and then make it work for my business because that's what people want to see. They want to see my journey and my experience. So yeah, I think just like be coachable, but be true to yourself. That's my advice. That is amazing. Thank you so much for coming on here and showing up all the time. That's one of the things that I noticed with Alicia is like, she's always there. She shows up somebody's welcomed into the group she says like welcome she posts she takes time to like share and being part of a community is like give and take and it's really is that way with her and I love that about you Alicia is like you show up you're just there and I'm so grateful for you so thanks for being here thank you thanks for having us guys I'm loving this so much <laughs> oh my gosh good job ladies so far I think one of the best things about our team, our community, this business is the people. It's the community. And I think one of the most beautiful parts of it is the people that come into your life that you never would have had, you never would have known. And I think it's really important to remember that a lot of the times the people you're working with in this business tend to be people in your life who weren't in your life previously, or who weren't maybe the people that when you got started, you were like, oh my gosh, I'm going to tell my friend, I'm going to tell my sister, I'm going to tell, you know, X, Y, Z, and they're going to run with me and it's going to be amazing. And then sometimes they don't. It, it, lots of the times, lots of the times, lots of time, 
seems to be people that are brought into your life through other people. And I think that's so, so amazing. Brie, who's with me here today, is a perfect example of that. She came into our team through our good friend, Kim, who's an executive on our team. And I wouldn't have known Brie without this. I wouldn't have had her beautiful presence on our team without this kind of community building that we have. And I know that Kim took a few months to get you started, right? (laughs) She planted beautiful seeds for you. So what uh, got you to say yes first? So she invited me for, I don't know, probably six months and and I definitely ignored her for a while. Um, And then I started with the excuses um, like, I am too busy, I have school, I can't do this kind of thing right now. Um, But I actually had like a lot of health problems that I was kind of focused on and I wasn't really focused on solving them. I was kind of just focused on them. So um, finally she like just um, gave me that like, you need this. And that really made me um, just like, changed 360. So that's incredible. I think I actually remember her early on talking about you before I knew who you were. And she's like, I'm just going to like hand her a roller and see what happens. (laughs) Yeah. So she actually, um, brought me to like a paint night, just the two of us. So she removed all the classes. She didn't want anything to do with young living. Um, like at our, um, in our conversation, And then at the end of it, I was like, just telling her all these issues that I was having. And and then she just gave me a roller and she's like, here, like, this has helped me. Um, So just try it and you can see what you want to do with it. So. Oh, I love that so much. What a beautiful, like authentic way to share and get started. So you got started, you said, yes. How has it impacted your life so far? Um, Well, I was struggling with a lot of different um, I guess hormonal issues and like headaches constantly every single day so I was in pain all the time Um, and I was actually an engineering student at the time and I was struggling through that and with all my other issues Um, but it kind of made me step back from that Um, I realized that that was not for me and that the career of like natural wellness, um, maybe even going into naturopathic medicine would be really like the goal for me. So I'm really excited to like dive deeper into that because Young Living kind of gave me the opportunity to like look at the potential that I had because I didn't think that there was like any potential there. Um, but now I'm realizing that like, it's so much bigger and I, yeah, I don't know. My eyes have been opened. It's crazy. It's my favorite. I love that so much. You are so eager to learn and your passion now for natural health and root causes over, you know, band-aiding things. Like it's just, it's so beautiful. And I love all your questions and your heart when it comes to learning, what got you to switch from being excited about the products, being excited about your own health to deciding you were going to help others with their health? Um, So it took me a little while. Um, I mean, Kim was very um, good with that. She like kind of waited, um, but she also kind of pushed me in the direction. And I didn't really think that like, I was like, oh, like, I'm just going to do this because like, it might help me like pay for my products or like, whatever, right? So I was um, a very broke student and I didn't really have any money to spend on oils, but I wanted all of them. So that was kind of my first motivation. Um, But really once I started, like it took me um, probably like eight months to even like post on Instagram about it. Like I was not um, really in it. I was like, oh, like I'm just gonna talk about it with my family and friends. Um, but then once I actually like started sharing about it, um, I realized that like, I really love like telling other people about this, like not just my friends and family. So, um, yeah, that kind of guided me in that direction. And then I also just started doing like 
all the personal development, all the research on everything. And then that got me really, really excited. So I wanted to be able to share my knowledge that I had with other people and yeah, made me want to help other people as well. I love that so much. I know that this journey has led you in so many different ways that you didn't expect. What would you say is like the biggest thing that you didn't expect from all of this? Well, I definitely did not expect myself to be speaking here um, right now. Like two years ago, there would be no way that I'd be like even have my camera on probably. Um, but I am like just so excited that I can be able to share that with other people. And I think that like, I didn't even really know what like health meant. Um, we were talking about this the other day on our call, but like, I just thought like, health meant that like you were a proper weight and you were, I don't know, there was, you just like ate okay and you were healthy. Um, but then I realized there was like so much more and that I was like truly unhealthy and I really needed to fix that. So um, I think it's really cool that I can help other people now do the same thing that I did. So Mm -hmm. That's so beautiful. You and I share that passion for sure. We were talking about how it turns out, you know, health is like, like an onion. There's so many layers you peel off that first layer and it's like, Oh, Oh, Oh. And then you get down to the core. And that's, I think a way of thinking that you are absolutely passionate about and, you know, already sharing more of now you've got so much going on on your Instagram and stuff, which I love. So I love that you said, you know, you wouldn't have been on video before, and now here you are talking on a zoom, but also really, really prevalent on your social media and stuff. I love all your videos and stuff. It's so powerful. What has been your favorite experience so far within the business and within the community? Um, well, personally, like I love being able to connect with other people. Um, like really this past year, like when we haven't had many opportunities to like Get together with friends i've been really connecting online and i thought that was really cool and um i've talked to so many people who are like um, students or like doctors or whatever naturopaths i'm talking to everybody about everything asking them all the questions and then like um also getting them to listen to me so that has been super cool and like I said, I would never have done that before. That wouldn't have been a thing. Um, but I really got that confidence now to do that. And then also um, I've gotten to meet people in this community, um, different people um, basically that have similar goals, but like we're on different paths to those goals. So I think that's super cool that we can all be like working towards the same thing, but doing something completely different. So that's, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's incredible. Oh my gosh. You have such a bright future ahead of you. She's so interested in going into naturopathic medicine and all of these things. And I know that your journey in health and helping others is just getting started. We have a couple more minutes left. So I'm going to like throw a random question at you. What are you most excited about for the future? What are you like most excited about because of young living, because of this path that has led you on? What are you most excited about for future Brie? Um, hmm. well, I think that just like I have the opportunity now to actually like make a difference in other people's lives. Um, I think like with engineering, I was thinking like, oh, I can help like, um, do things for like the community, but now I'm like actually going to be able to like help people one-on-one -on -one, and that's like really cool, I think. And like being able to, um, just like share that with as many people as possible. I think is amazing. And then being able to like build a business and make money and do the things that you love in that process. It's kind of amazing. So, yeah, it is amazing. It's the best. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. That was so incredible. I'm so grateful to have you as a part of my life and so grateful for this community and so grateful for the process that brings these people into our life. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. Thank you for answering our questions and yeah, we'll let it go to yeah. the next ladies, but thank you so much. All right, we're up next. Um, so hi everybody, I'm Therese. Um, I am excited to talk to Jill today. Um, she is one of the people on my team that again, I didn't know before this and she was introduced to me by somebody else. 
And she has been one of the most consistent, hardworking people on my team from the get go. And the growth that I've seen from her in the last few months alone has been amazing. And she is a fear chaser. Like she just says yes. And she goes and figures it out. It's not something that like she, she she does it herself. And um, that is something that I think is really, really cool. So I'm excited to be here talking to Jill. So Jill, um, what got you started today? Or started with Young Living? <laughs> what got me started with Young Living? Um, I was having a very busy day um, at work, running around, chasing down problems like I always do. And I got a random message from a dear sweet friend who invited me to Starbucks to check out some oils and have coffee and connect and talk about how oils can support stress and sleep patterns and hormones and digestive and anxiety and all of these things. And um, right away I was like, ooh, hormone support. I think I need to go check this out. And if it had been not spontaneous and on the spot, I wouldn't have done it. Because to plan things and put things in my calendar scared me. My anxiety would spike and I'd be like, oh, I have so many things to do. I, I can't fit that in. So the spontaneous approach really worked for me. Um, and you kind of dove like all in, like the next month you were just like totally sold. So what, like, what did you notice was like, like made you want to go all in? Uh, I'm not entirely sure, honestly. Um, I just, so yeah, my first month back in, yeah, I think November, 2019, yeah, I got the kit and then December I got all of the like hormone oils, the Endoflex and progestants and clary sage and by january we were hosting a class uh, you'd reached out and asked if that was something i wanted to do and um the approach was to help get my products paid for and i thought well yeah you know i'm raising a family we're on a budget we just bought a house like <laughs> these things uh these oils are totally worth it but um definitely an investment so i thought why not let's let's try to get my kit paid for was my initial motivation for sure yeah. Um, what is it that kind of like keeps driving you now? What keeps driving me now is the personal growth and development. Um, yeah, I'm a completely different person than what I was in 2019. I had just experienced probably the worst year of my entire life. Um, and I, yeah, I love the connection with people. I was just like, eat, sleep, work, eat, sleep, work, just like a slave to the drive and forcing myself to make connections and check on people and say hello and build relationships felt so good. And I <laughs> was kind of sad that my life had gotten to where it was because it was lonely. <laughs> And so the community is huge and it's not just like, you know, getting together and, and talking about life. It's getting together and improving your life and taking intentional steps to do that with people that are all in the same mindset with the same goals and always um, helping and lifting each other up. And I've never had that before. So I've never been a goal setter, like putting something in my calendar freaked me out. I've never been an intentional goal setter. So this has pushed me and I recognize that leaning into the fear is the only way to grow and I have to do it. Yeah. I, and that's, I've noticed that about you and I love that. Like, you're just like, a, I'm scared right now, but I'm going to say yes anyways. And then you go <laughs> and you figure it, like you just figure it out as you go. And that like is kind of my favorite quality that I see in you that I absolutely love. So what I, I know you talk about personal development and stuff and that you're a completely different person than you were. What is the biggest change that you've noticed in yourself? Um, gosh, um, self-belief. So just like, you know, feeling even worthy to talk to other people be in the same room as other people that I totally would have shied away from, um, putting myself out there, just being okay with being me, um, having the confidence. I don't, I never really had self-confidence before because I didn't have 
the self-worth to drive that. So um, that's Young Living in the community has helped me with, with all of that to take steps to put myself first. Um, I've always been the pillar in my family at work, doing all of the things for everybody else and never focusing on me. So I'm almost 40 and it's time for me to have time for me. <laughs> so <laughs> um, I do that now. I put intentional time into myself, into exercising, into taking care of me, into personal growth, into reading and all of those things. And so much more than oils, like so much more than oils. Yeah. I know it's the coolest thing. Cause like you have the biggest, warmest, like yellow heart that I've ever seen of anybody. And now I see this like red pants coming out on you and you're like, no, me first. <laughs> I'm like, yes, Jill, go get it girl. Um, okay. So last question I have is like, looking back on the start of your journey, what would you now tell yourself at the start of this journey? Um, oh gosh. Yeah. Don't be afraid to go all in. I've always been so afraid in my life with anything to go all in. And I know that a lot of that is driven by a lot of people in my family being affected by addiction. And so it scares me to go all in um, on anything. But when you're going all in on something that is only good and is going to help you um, grow and then ripple effect, like the impact that it's having on my family, on my team, on the people um, at work that I lead, um, just go for it. <laughs> just go all in. Don't be scared. Yes. <laughs> Jill, like, that was amazing. <laughs> so good. Um, that's all the questions I have. So. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you, everybody. Thanks, Jill. So I'm Jesse. How is everybody doing? Is everybody getting all excited for their weekend? And it's a beautiful weekend. I don't know where everybody is at, but I'm in Kamloops and it's like 14 degrees and there's sun and no clouds and it's amazing and just so good for the whole, the whole system to get out in the sun. All right, so I have my very special guest and I'm super excited and I really hope um, that her internet will work. She's out in the middle of nowhere up at the top of BC um, so um, the internet comes in and in and out so hopefully it'll stay on for her um, so she's not only one of my dearest friends but she's also my mother-in-law and I just love her to bits she is probably the most kindest person I've ever met and will just always go the extra mile for anybody um, she has overcome the biggest obstacles and she just keeps going and she has no excuses. She's learning Instagram right now and killing it. Like she just, she just blows my mind every time. So um, I just want to welcome Judy um, to the call. Judy, are you there? I'm here and you just made me cry, Jesse. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> And by the way, I'm actually sitting in my camper outside because my internet's working really well out here. That's funny. <laughs> it is funny. <laughs> All right. But it's so, only two degrees above, so it's cool out here. Yeah, that's that's cold. Hopefully you got some blankets. <laughs> oh, I got my jacket on. I'm good. <laughs> okay. okay. So... My first question to you is when, I know we were like in Cuba, <laughs> but when you first heard about Young Living Oils and the company, what were your first impressions when I brought that to you? Well, at the time, I didn't really know anything much about oils. I had never really looked into them. And, but just talking to you made sense to start looking into the oils and seeing what they could do for people. And so I came home and, and actually signed up with my kit and started using them and was totally impressed with the results that I was getting from them. Yeah, that's the one thing about the oils. They definitely work right away. All right, so then we... Um, 
got you all situated with all your oils up there. Um, but then what inspired you to like look at the business side and like start building, like actively building a business with this? Um, I think what actually got me into building a business was um, you talk to people and there's so many people hurting out there and so many people need um, something other than the, the chemical drugs that they're being given and um, just wanting to help people have a better life um, and seeing the results from actually working with people and, and helping them how that you could build a business and, and still help people and have fun and enjoy doing it and be, be true to yourself and be honest with people. To me, that made sense other than I've been with other companies and you think you're doing the best thing with it. And then you find out, wow, they aren't true to their, their beliefs. They're not true to their values of what they actually use in their products and everything where young living has such a great reputation and has been around for 27 years and is still going strong and Im improving on everything that they do and making more products that are still beneficial for us and, and helping us. So um, just being able to use something that you love and sharing that and um, getting compensation for that. That's right. Yeah. Um, and and um, so when, like, when did you first realize that, um, like, the compensation or the business part um, could be a steady income potential? Like, what was, what were you, when were you like, oh, I could do this for a while? Um, again, I think it was probably a few months into it, and I, I was actually making some money and getting uh, getting more commission than with anything else I had been with. And that's another part of Young Living is they are so um, committed to helping us become better and, and making an income. And I just can't say enough about Young Living. They are so... Um, generous with all of their commissions, their products, their free stuff every month. And I just love them. They're just an amazing company. Yes, I agree. Between all the free things that we get, like our ER orders and the commissions, and like, like you, I've been with other MLMs before and yeah, they really, really take care of their people. That's for sure. All right. So my last question to you is if you had um, a new, if you were talking to a new member right now, what is some advice that you would give them to help them start business building? Uh, again, that depends on the person, but I believe um, you need to find out what their needs and their wants are and um, give them incentive. Like they need to try the products and see how well they work for them. And then um, like I talked to someone the other day and, and they were talking about um, oils and I said, well, you know, there is a business side to this that you can actually build an income from it. And they were all excited about that. So you have to listen to the person you're talking to and just feel them out and go from there because otherwise you could be making them nervous and upset and they need to hear it in your voice and you need to be excited about it and explaining it in the proper way.
Yes. Sorry, I have to mute because of course this whole call, my toddler has been like super good. And then it was my turn and bam! <laughs> um, yes, you're absolutely right. Um, and you know, like seriously, when I say no excuses, guys with Judy, she is like the 40 minutes away from like the nearest anything. She is like plopped down in the middle of a forest way up north. Um, so, you know, and like her team, she's like constantly building. I'm like, I'm just like amazed all the time. She just really connects with people. And um, she, that's definitely, she's got a heart of service. That's for sure. Um, well, I really appreciate you taking the time and sitting in your camper. I don't want to leave you out there too long. You'll be frozen soon. Um, but again, um, you know, I love you. And um, I'm just really honored that I was able to interview you today. Thank you, Jesse. Love you hey. too. And I love this community that we're with. Mm -hmm. It's just awesome. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, we are not done yet. I have one more person that I am going to interview. And I met this lady, how long ago? Four years ago? Four years ago, maybe? I feel like it's five now. Um, and I just quit my job and decided that I was going to go waitress and keep meeting people and keep bringing people into my life. And of course, the one person <laughs> that really blew my mind was the person that I was working with. And she was the manager of this cute little restaurant. And I loved her energy and I just wanted her to be my friend. I courted her for about six months before she finally came to a class and <laughs> seven months, something like that. Um, so I want to introduce you if you don't already know Gloria McLean. Um, and she's just been a light in my life and I love, um, she just inspires me every day, honestly. She like jumped into Instagram and I'm like, oh, I'm coming. <laughs> wait for me um but it's just been such a fun journey alongside of her and um i am excited to ask her a few questions so gloria do you want to tell us why did you start the business what made you jump all in <laughs> hi everybody oh don't make me cry before i speak <laughs> it's so crazy to think back to that time and just how much has changed and it's just like what a beautiful gift ah this whole journey is but um well first of all lisa was like the most excited person ever about young living and talked about it all the time <laughs> about how much she loved working for this company and so like definitely that was a little contagious i was a little intrigued but i had been burned by another network marketing company so i was still like walls up big time so it actually took um i couldn't get the day off for my daughter's first day of school from work and after like giving everything to this job for three years and then not getting that back in return. I just kind of hit a wall and I was like, how much money do you actually make at this? And Lisa was making $3,200 at the time as a silver leader. And she showed me and I went, yeah, I want that. I want the time freedom. Yeah, now we have it. <laughs> so um, it was the paycheck. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> uh um, so what is your biggest tip for growth? Because when you got started, you really didn't want to take time away from your family. I know you didn't yeah. even want to quit your job at the time. You're like, I love this place. I'm never leaving. Um, so that. what is, <laughs> and then eventually you jumped all in. So what is your biggest tip for growth? Because you guys have grown really fast and um, you have an amazing team. So what, what are your biggest tips for growth? My biggest tip for growth is consistency. Um, the compound effect is a very real thing. Just show up every single day for your business. There isn't a day where I haven't touched my business, even after having a baby, even after breaking my foot, even after like every, I just, I've never not had a day where I've shown up and it has not always looked perfect. Like there has been a lot of days where um, I was failing forward, but I was still showing up. So just don't wait until it's perfect. Like that would be my biggest piece of advice. Also, I just love what I do. So for me, working is not hard to do. Like I love connecting with people. I love getting on these calls. I love seeing all your faces. So yeah, fall in love with the progress. Yes. Yeah, fall in love with the process. Because, yeah. Oh my gosh. I think you and I talk about it all the 
time is just we are so addicted to the feeling of helping people, the excitement of it all. And when you're focused on the little wins every day, Mm -hmm. you can't help but want to do this, right? Like you're just like, oh my gosh, guess what just happened? And you're just focused on that. And then you grow and you get addicted to the process. Um, So what are you most excited about for the future? Oh my gosh, all of it. I want to hug everyone again. (laughs) I want big events again. I honestly just see myself like making a really big space in my yard where I'm like hosting events and we have like meditation and oils and classes and just like celebrating women and all of their magic. And I just like can never see myself not doing this because it truly is like just a passion for me. I think about like where I was at the beginning, I was like struggling in my health. My marriage was struggling. Our finances were really bad. Um, I was missing out on my kids' lives. I was working 60 hours a week. And I just know that there is somebody else waiting for me to show up and share that starter bundle and to share this opportunity. And like, how can I ever take a back seat and not do that? Like it's changed my life. So it's like, you gotta pay it forward. I'll never stop. (laughs) I'm just excited to keep going. Yay. Well, those were all the questions I have for you. Um, I'm also excited for the community because literally what is better than that than all the hugs and the fun that we have together. So um, can we just like do that soon? (laughs) Thank you so much, everybody, for jumping on the call today. I love you all. Have an amazing Saturday. Love you all.